Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I wanna show you how to use the Google Finance function in Google Sheets. First, you're gonna learn how to get real-time data for stocks and ETFs. And then I'm gonna show you how to get historical price data. As a bonus, if you stay till the end, I'm also gonna show you how you can get stock financial, key metrics, and dividend data right on your spreadsheet. That being said, let's get to it. Okay, so let's start with real-time stock price data or real-time data for ETFs. So it's very simple. All you have to do is click equals and then Google Finance. And what this is gonna do is pull up the Google Finance function. And then from here, all you have to do is enter the ticker of the company you're looking to get data from or ETF. So for example, we're gonna do Apple and then you enter the attribute that you want to get. So in this case, let's do price. And as you can see, it's this simple to get the real time price for Apple. If we were to Google the value, which we have right now here, you can see that it's very similar. The data all comes from Google Finance itself. Something to keep in mind is that the function will automatically refresh every so often. So that way you don't have to worry about constantly updating the formula or doing any refreshes yourself. This makes it a lot more easy to manage having multiple stock prices for uh, multiple stocks. An important thing to mention is that instead of entering the values within the function itself, you can also reference cells that already has those values. So for example, Instead of manually enter the ticker for this ETF, SPY, I can just reference the cell that has the value. And then I can do the same thing for the price. So in this way, I get the stock price in real time, but then if I change it from another ETF or another stock, then you can see how the price will automatically update to reflect that as well. There's two key questions that come up when using the Google's finance function on Google Sheets. The first is what attributes are available for the function? So for real time price data, um, you can get any of these attributes right here. The one thing to keep in mind is that the spelling, it's what matters, the capitalization and the spacing itself, it does not matter. So you can do price with capital P and it will still work. Now, because I have the spreadsheet set up in this way, I can very easily change the attribute inside the function. So for example, let's say PE. And as you can see, you will get the value very easily. The other key question that comes up when using the Google's finance function is how do you know the ticker of any particular company? And how do you know what companies are covered? Well, the great thing is that, like I mentioned before, the data comes straight from Google finance. So you can just Google the name of the company followed by the word stock and you will get exactly what the ticker should be. So for example, let's say that we wanna get Talus, which is a Canadian um, stock company listed in the Toronto Stock Exchange. As you can see, this pop-up will come up from Google Finance and it tells us that the ticker that we have to use is this. So I can just copy paste that and then replace this Make sure to not have uh, extra spaces here. And as you can see, you will also get the value here. Now let's move on and show you how it is that you can get historical stock price data for a particular company. This is very simple. What you can do is do this setup right here. We're gonna change the ticker back to Apple. And then here you're gonna enter the start date. You can enter it in this format where you enter the month, the day, comma, and then the year. And this makes it a lot easier. You'll see why. So you select the two dates. Um, you turn them into the date format to make sure that you've entered them properly. And if you did it correctly, you will see how they turn into this format. This is gonna make it a lot easier for that value to be used in the function. So now we could do Google Finance enter the ticker, the attributes. So in this case, we're gonna do close, but I'm gonna show you later on what attributes are available besides close, the start date, and then the end date. 
We could also enter an interval. The interval could be daily or weekly. Uh, if you leave it empty, which is what I recommend you do, it does it daily, which I think is the most uh, useful feature here. Now you click enter. And as you can see, you will get this array uh, on your spreadsheet where you have the date and then you also have the close for that date. To show you what other attributes are available besides close, you can enter the attribute all and that's going to return an array with all of the different attributes that are available for historical stock price data on the Google Finance function. So as you can see, the parameters are open, high, low, close and volume and you get them all at once in this array. Something really useful that I recommend to use depending on your use case is to keep this start dates dynamic. So let's say that instead of having these dates fixed like in this way, uh, you want to get the data for the last 30 days. Something simple you can do is replace this by today. And this is a function that is going to return the date for today. And then for the start date, what you're going to do is you're going to do today and you're going to subtract 30 for 30 days. And as you can see, you're going to get all the data you need right here. One last useful tip for the Google Finance function is to do this. So first, we're going to go back to the close price. So that way um, you'll see what we're going to do. And then from here, we're going to wrap this in the sparkline function. What this is going to do is generate a sparkline graph for the data that comes from the Google Finance function. So this is really cool. You do that. And as you can see, this is going to give us an idea of the trend of the stock price. So we're going to move it here. And now we could do trend line. Of And as you can see, you can do this for multiple stocks and it's going to make being able to visualize the stock price over time a lot easier. Awesome. So now you made it to the end of this video and this is the bonus. So there's one key downside of using the Google Finance function, and that is the fact that you cannot get any historical financials, key metrics and dividend data on your spreadsheet. And that is a real downside of using the function, but don't worry, there's a way in which you can do that a lot easier. So this extension is called Y Sheets, and it makes this process a lot easier. All you have to do is enter the ticker of any company you like or the company name, select annual or quarterly data. And then when you click get data, what's going to happen is that you're going to get all of the financial statements, key metrics and growth metrics going back all the way to 2003. So as you can see, this data will be here already formatted and everything for you to do your analysis a lot easier. With all these valuable key metrics as well. And the financial growth metrics. Most importantly, the coolest thing about the Y Sheets add-on is that if you go here on the Ys function, instead of getting all the stock data at once, you can get only the specific data points you're looking for and therefore being able to build these really cool dynamic models like the ones you can see on the left. So there's the Ys function to get historical stock financials. There's a wise price function to get real time stock data, but you can also use the Google Finance function for this. And then all together, you can build a model like this. You can see how it's using the function in this way. And it's also combining some of the principles that we talked about in the video from the Google Finance function as well. And the cool thing about this is that you can change the company ticker and you will see how all of this data will update. And you can do this for any type of model that you wish to build or that you can dream of. At the same time, you might be seeing this uh, at a later time, but right now we have Wise templates in beta where you can browse templates that are built by us or by the community of users for Y Sheets. And then in one click, fire it up, get it all in your spreadsheet, and then get going with your financial analysis a lot faster. 
So there you have it. Now you know how to use the Google Finance function like a pro to get historical and real-time stock and ETF data right on your Google Sheet spreadsheet. And at the same time, now you know how to get stock financial key metrics and dividend data using Y Sheets. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and share it with a friend. And also, if you want to check out Y Sheets, click on the link in the description so you go on the website create your free trial account, and then you can test it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.